Surf Nazis Must Die is a 1987 American exploitation film directed by Peter George and starring Gail Neely, Mary Brenner, and Robert Harden. It was produced by The Institute, a production company formed by George, Craig A. Colton and Robert Tinnell, and distributed by Troma Entertainment, a company known for its low-budget exploitation films. An earthquake leaves the California coastline in ruins and reduces the beaches to a state of chaos. A group of neo-Nazis led by Adolf, Brenner, the self-proclaimed Führer of the New Beach, takes advantage of the resulting chaos by fighting off several rival surfer gangs to seize control of the beaches. Meanwhile, an African-American oil well worker named Leroy, Harden, is killed by the surf Nazis while jogging on the beach. Leroy's mother, Mama Washington, Neely, devastated by the loss of her son, vows revenge. After arming herself with a handgun and grenades, she breaks out of her retirement home and exacts vengeance on the surf Nazis. Gail Neely as Eleanor Mama Washington. Robert Harden as Leroy. Mary Brenner as Adolf. Don Wildsmith as Eva. Michael Sony as Menjil. Joel Heil as Hook. Jean Mitchell as Brutus. Tom Shell as Smeg. Bobby Brissy as Smeg's mom. Tom Dememkoff as Ariel. The soundtrack to Surf Nazis Must Die was scored by John McCallum and features heavy use of synthesizers. The soundtrack had an official vinyl release by Strange Disc Records in September 2014 with cover artwork also by McCallum. Surf Nazis Must Die was criticized by reviewers as boring and hard to follow, and its acting, dialogue, and camera work were widely panned. Janet Maslin wrote not even the actor's relatives will find this interesting. Roger Ebert stated that he walked out of the film after 30 minutes, 